Hello there everyone, uh, this is Iron Mark 3 and welcome back to Shinky, the Metropolis Project. Hmm. Well, apologies for the height, this has been, what, um, let's see, the update went out the 15th, uh, uh, some like three weeks-ish, four weeks, something like that, about a month. But yes, welcome back to Metropolis Projects. This project was not dead, it was just on hiatus. And unplanned hiatus, but it was like, at the end of last time I was noticing some serious stability issues going on. So, I've done part of what was going on. <laughs> Words. <laughs> I'm missing this up already. Um, so I've done some of the refitting work I said I would at the end of last time. But I decided to stop and hold off until the game could get a bit more stability back because it had lost some stability. It was getting kind of jittery and uh, losing frame rate quite a lot as well. It was dropping down to like 15, 20 FPS quite regularly. Now it seems to be operating in the 20 to 30 band solidly. So, you know, the updates since then have helped it out a bit. And as you can see, there have been some changes. Look at these cute little guys just tugging around the place. Oh yes, tuggy, tuggy, tuggy. And that is because I've actually taken this um, massive area and I've basically repopulated it. I've redesigned some of the track. I've rebalanced all of the output on it and I've replaced all trains with these little workhorses. Yes, these little guys. The um, what are these? Uh, you're not going to tell me, are you? Right, I'm going to check the depot. I forgot the name of these little guys, but they are now Prussian T3s. As I, as I used in the um, in the mountain game, Prussian T3s. I used those guys to harvest coal for me. The problem was I had all my most powerful engines on here. Like, really, I'm getting tons and tons of steel and wood. Yes, but the problem is I was burning through my coal reserves at an unsustainable rate. And in fact, even while switching these tracks over and without the trains running on it, my coal kept running out. So, yeah. I'm reserving things like coal exclusively for the all-important passenger trains, delivering the test subjects to and from my testing grounds. Speaking of, let's go to my testing grounds and check that out and see how that's doing right now. Um, Blackburn, how are you? You are at population 168. You are growing steadily, 981 and 167 for male. So yeah, it's, it's growing somewhat steadily. Trains are often coming in pretty close to a full load, actually. So we're getting like, on average, 80 to 100 people per train. And there's a lot of trains running. Let, let's, let's make no mistake about that. There is a lot of trains running, actually. So, Blackburn is continuing to grow, but we can do better. We can push this further. So, yes, we can. Anyway, um, we should probably set some goals for this episode, shouldn't we? There's two things that we really, really need doing. First off, we need to retool south, um, the southwest, I think they're called this. The southwest expansion, this one. Because, basically, I did this without understanding what I was doing. So I've got massive amounts of coal being funneled into a single place so it's actually can't process it all so as you can see trains are often leaving it like with half plus coal still in the uh, in the cars it just can't deal with the amount of coal I've, I'm shunting into it so yeah this place needs a rebuild and retooling just to deal with all that the tracks are okay but I've not got the um, southwest industrial setup at all even though that was like mentioned as my between episode plan at the end of last time. It was just, I got caught up in waiting for performance updates and in retooling this section instead to make it more efficient. So this thing runs entirely on money, which is the resource I have a very small, massive quantity of. So yes, there is that that can be done. By the way, there's a little bypass on here now, just so that as part of the balancing effort so that the trains can just go through here to get to this section rather than like having to go through all this nonsense. <laughs> anyway, right, yeah. <clears throat> Second thing to do is we can hook up, um, we could hook up our testing grounds, we could hook up uh, Blackburn to these two towns up here. I kind of realised there was a slight problem with the orders here. So an update at some point damaged the already saved 
um, coordinates, so these guys were not reversing properly, so I had to relay the coordinates. That's why they kept jamming, and we kept getting a warning saying, this train has been parked for too long, because they were just... They weren't turning properly, so I had to relay the coordinates. They lo they'd lost their way, effectively. So that wasn't working. But these two towns really do need to be hooked up. And then, lastly, there is the big bugbear. The elephant in the room. And I think the most important one, and so the one we're going to go for first. Because it opens up an additional revenue stream. And a way... Well, revenue's not really important. I've got 181,000 flipping heck. Um, but it's open, more importantly, it opens a way to accelerate Blackburn's growth further. You hear that, Blackburn? You hear that, test subjects? I'm going to force you to grow more quickly. <laughs> and that is to advance the age, of course, to diesel age, because that unlocks oil and, more importantly, goods. So we can deliver goods to a shop, and the shop will accelerate the growth rate. So, yeah. Well, at least I think it does. Uh, anyway, let's, let's go ahead and advance anyway. 200 wood, check. 100 iron, check. 200 coal, I've actually got that now, thanks to the reworking of that area. So, check. Here we go. We are now in the early diesel age. We are once again as far as we can go. I've, as, as far as I understand, there's been no major one. Uh, you weak oil. Sale representative oil, name checks companies, extraction, uh, transport, oil, anyway, firing shop. Okay, so, oil update achieved. We have got access to oil pumps and refineries and goods manufacturing. And the goods manufacturing is the important one here. Now, Blackburn, can I check you? Do you have an additional growth stat? You do not. Right. Uh, we need to find someone with a shop. Shoppy, shoppy, shoppy. Where is a shop? Because we've got to find a town updated with a shop. That's a oh, dear. Liverpool's got a refinery right next to it. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to be happy with that. Well, they don't care at this point, but no, that's, that's a future consideration. Now, where's a goods shop? I need to find a goods shop. Oh, there's one. Okay, so we've got a goods shop here. Goods shop transforms goods into gold cash. Does it affect growth. Uh. Oh, I just had to unpause it so it registered. Yes, goods can be used to accelerate growth. So, I need to make... Unfortunately, instead of just cramming as many people into um, Blackburn as possible, like um, literally slum style, as many people as I can pack into the place, and delivering um, copious amounts of toilet paper, aka mail from their families in the homes that they left behind. Uh, I need to now deliver them with the products of life. I need to deliver goods to them. Okay, right. So, unfortunately Blackburn has no actual goods services. However, something that did happen in the update, I clicked the wrong button. Uh, I actually have to turn into building mode. Yeah, there we go. Right. Something I can do is I can build two new things as part of this update. I can build a company HQ. Maybe later. I can also build a shop. So I can flat out build a good shop anywhere that I require it. So I can build one right here in Blackburn. Um, what I'm thinking is we've got a double track waiting right here. Yeah. And we've only got two towns up here connected. There is... Um, some more towns out this way, like well, there's four clusters together, and I've been linking Blackburn like four towns to a station platform. Well, per two platforms, so. But if I'm only linking two towns here, that leaves me with a little bit of spare capacity, doesn't it? I can use that spare capacity to bring in some goods trains. That sounds like a plan. Alright. So I just need to give Blackburn its own little goods shop, which I will place like. Yeah, that seems good. It doesn't need to be on a road, right? <laughs> Actually, I should check catchment area. All right, yeah, I can put one, like, here. So I'll, pop, I'll just pop, pop a little good store right there. Uh, middle mouse. There we go. We've now got our own little good shop, which accepts an input rating of one good. Can't extend it. But that will give Blackburn goods. Accepting to allow it to expand faster. Yep, there we go. 
It can accept 336 goods to expand its population, so jolly good. Now, we need, we need a good source to deal with that. Mm, a good source... They've got a shop, I don't care about that. Goods are no... No one else is getting the, the products of life except for Blackburn. That is my final word on the matter. Right, we've got some various bits and pieces over here. We've got a refinery. We've got a refinery, so we need an oil well now. There's, there's an oil well just down there. Okay, so we can get something working in this general direction, which is just fine. And I think we should actually go ahead and scrap these two trains. So go to go to back, and you can go back as well. So I'm sorry, you guys, but this particular rail service is going to be dropping off for at least a moment, for a short time. Now then, to hook into this line, I've got this set here, and this goes around here. All right. All right. So I'm just going to start pulling this track around. I think this is a good line for it. So I'm going to raise you. And you. That's the line that I'm going to be on. Of course, this means dropping it down to water level. There we go. Now, of course, this is actually a fairly long bridge as well. So... I need to be aware of that and split the track because otherwise it's going to cause a delay. If this track later on, when this track set becomes packed, it's going to cause a delay. So I need to separate, which of course means I need an additional space like this. That, that, that's wrong. I need that. I do need that. Because we can't put signals on bridges. End day. So, there we go. That's going to run down there. That's going to bridge across to this area. Just like so. Of course, it's going to be like an iron suspension bridge because, you know, we've got the resources. We're going to make it fast. Why are you raised up? Drop down, please. Thank you. You don't get to be special. So, there we go. We're we're kind of like flattening and building across here at this point. And that, because we're going to hook this entire thing. I was thinking of making a bridge right across here, but that would be needlessly expensive. Especially if we're building this as part of a goods track as well. So, we don't need to do that. We can just run the entire darn thing in this general direction. Let's see, flatten tool. Let's use our money to speak for us and just flatten our way across the landscape. Actually, I didn't need to do that. Waste of money. <laughs> yeah, I just wasted my money. Because, of course, this thing merges back into one after that bridge, so that's all excess. We didn't need to do that. We do, however, need this to come back up, though, now that I think about it. So, put that there. I need to extend that a little bit. I'm just throwing money away, basically, at this point. It's like, hmm. That Iron Mark III, he knows what he's doing. He spends his money like he has a vague idea of what he's trying to do. Yeah, right. Me? Vague idea of what I'm trying to do? Are, are you watching the right, right YouTube channel? I never know what I'm trying to flip and do. I mean, come on. This is me we're talking about here, isn't it? Oh, yeah, there we go. So, we've got um, a split on the outward line. So, that'll deal with any jams. And it'll allow the thing to operate maximum capacity. Okay, these these two guys are in place, so I can sell them off. They, I mean, they were just... They, this is my oldest track, this, actually, that I'm currently scrapping. It's uh, It was my very first track. Anyway, let's see. We can go to you now. We can put in some extension. Oh, we need some oil before we can even get an extension. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Right. Okay. So to get oil, I need to deliver to here, which it transforms, transforms, transforms things into oil and goods. Okay. So I need to put a station in there. Um, 
immediately give it the extension as soon as it um, decides to like me. Yep. And extend it, of course, to maximum length. Maximum length, by the way, is still eight. Oops, I was in the wrong place entirely. Station. There we go. Station. Grab that. So we're going to have good strains running from this place here. However, there is another option we can do, actually. Which is to separate the station off. So we've got one track, one station which will always be dealing with the goods trains. And we've got another station which will be trying to cope with everything else. That's an option, actually. Hmm. So if I was to put a station in here... And then I'll have another extension. I'll put in an additional signal box there. There we go. Can you accept from the place? No. Hmm. And what about storage building? Still a range of two. Okay, it's going to have to be on different sides of the entire darn thing then. Right, demolish, demolish, demolish. Demolish, demolish, all right. So for this to work properly, I have to have two separate stations on different sides of this place, it seems. Since I'm going to be splitting the the, um, the trains up a little bit to ensure smooth running, because I don't want something to get jammed in, quite honestly. And this might, this is actually pointless over-engineering, now that I think about it. But hey, what can you do? It, I'm doing it now because it might be interesting. So, yeah. Station, I'm going to add in, of course, the extra length on stations there. And then we're going to have another station over here, which is going to be delivery station. Again, require the signal box. I've got the, I've got the resources to throw around, so it's like, sure, I'm wasting some resources, but who cares, right? I've been throwing away money ever since I got a massive amount of this stuff, so yeah. Okay, besides, I've never done this before on camera, so we can do it here. And what I'm doing is this. I'm going to tell this particular station here, it can't accept any of the raw materials, right? And I'm going to tell this station here that you can't accept goods. So that's what I've done. This one will not accept goods. All goods will go to station 49, while station 50 will accept resources. Oh, um, I can divert steel and lumber into this place to help as well. But it's actually on a separate production queue. Alright. Which makes this all very slightly misleading, because it's like, if you give all of this, we give you all of this. But the problem is we've got different production rates. That, that's why some of the... Um, this is one of the complaints I actually voiced the developer and got an answer on it. Um, as they, they explained it, but basically what I what I noticed was like um, we had places that were producing 0.5 output on their signs, like like like, like look, this one here. Look, 0 0.4 0 0.4 timber produces four iron. 0.4 timber. How the hell are you supposed to route 0.4 timber to this place? Well, but what that's doing is it's showing the um, average per tick production, because some of these productions have got like massive production cycles on them and some are really simple to do so it's like it's just confusing to try to load balance all of your things because if you don't load balance you get met far too many of these popping up saying like um, hey this place has got too many resources you're an idiot for sending so much there but well basically it's just like they, they appear there and I can't get rid of them they always come back and there's no way to tell the station that I don't want to hear from you if you've got too much stuff in you. Because the only way to supply them is to go here, unload everything as much as you can, and then go to a final place and unload anything you've got left over. I've not I've not found a way to do that. Really. Anyway, I should probably be getting on. I'm, in, I'm at 20 minutes. I'm, I'm two thirds of the way through and I'm still not I'm still working on all this. Um let's see. Okay, oh I need some corrective engineering here. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, solid. So yeah, it's like um, the industry interface as it stands right now, I find it needlessly complicated. So it could be doing a darn sight more clearly. Like, um, 
like even the ability to stop it from doing that, I, that would be a, an acceptable outcome for me at this point. Because I, I always find it quite irritating when they just like keep popping up and saying, "Hey, stop sending this stuff here," and it's like, "But I need to send that stuff there." And then besides, the trains aren't stopping there; they're going on somewhere else afterwards. It's like, hmm. so I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Let's keep on going. Uh, just keep on pushing, pushing, pushing. Okay, so we're at this point here. This is roughly where we need to take a split, actually. So, because we've got, um, we're planning to hook into the passenger stations up there. And we've also need to send a line this way as well. So what I actually need to do is, like, pull this back slightly. And angle it this way. Then I can turn it that way. Right. Then I need to get some bridging done. In the most um, cost efficient manner possible, of course. As I've already mentioned numerous times, this is like the most efficient way to do it. Though, unfortunately, that's a bit too close to the track. Alright, let's, let's drop this section here as well. No, we don't need to do that. Because what I need is to get a track through here, then there, then that can go there. Oh, that's perfect. Alright, and then we'll have the split be here. So there we go. And this is, of course, because of that um, old glitch I found with iron bridges uh, of the... Uh, well, actually, it's any length, come to think of it. And that's the fact that you can't build an iron bridge... Well, you can't edit tracks under an iron bridge. I've not checked to see if they've actually corrected that or not. Hopefully they have, because it's, you can edit the tracks underneath other bridges, but... You basically got to lay the track, then you got to lay the iron bridge. And then that's that, and we've got a two-way junction. Jolly good. And that will let us just, like, hook straight across here to get to additional places. So, we need to equalise you, actually. Because this is going to be, like, a, a bit of a bridge job, actually. If we're going to be using long bridges, we need to double this up. So, this is actually going to be costly. That's doubled up the tracks so that we can be relatively safe as we construct this massive bridge project. Probably going to name the episode after this bridge project, actually, because it's like we're raising up from absolute zero to hit height 10, of all things. Actually, we can get rid of that. Let's make this, uh, we can make this slightly more reasonable, I suppose. Height 8 is where we want it to be at, so we're going to do that. Like nine for you. Spending money like I don't just don't care because I honestly don't. Okay, right. How long do we want this to be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So about here, actually. And we need to equalize that, of course. So equalize, make it nice and easy on ourselves. The question is, will it accept a bridge on that? So let's see. We want to bridge from here to there. Yep, it will accept it. All right. And th this would actually be a couple. This I could I could do this at half the cost if we could put signals onto bridges. But uh, you know, eh, that, that's not a thing because a bridge counts as an object. I'm guessing in the game code, so it's like. It doesn't register as an individual track, as far as being able to build on it and around it and modify it is concerned. Okay, then we need a gap there. And then we're going to bridge again. How long is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We hit eight there. So that's eight length. One, two, three, four. Grab that. And then just flatten the rest of it out. So there we go. We've actually reached the other side now. We've built one massive island in the middle. And this will allow us to get trains across here 
if, if the trains become tightly packed, it will not cause slowdowns because there is an alternate routing. So if there's a train on one of these bridge routes, like in the first bridge and there's a train right behind it, the, the following train will just take the other bridge route. So that's the whole point of this. It, it splits up the traffic to take account for the fact that you can't have signals on these things. And then we recombine them over here like this. So there we go, nice and flat. Oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> That's not flat anymore. No. Okay. And then it goes, it has to climb up again to reach the level of the terrain over here. Notice how much effort I am putting into linking these two cities. You two cities are better be grateful, you know? You really must be grateful. But this is the Great Bridge of Stoke. Or something like that, I think. Yeah, the Great Bridge of Stoke. Now there's an interesting name. I'm just going to flatten all of this. I don't need it. Great Bridge of Stoke. Yeah, that, that, that sounds like an episode name to me, actually. The, the Grand Bridge of Stoke. And then the, the um, and then the thumbnail will just be that bridge. It's like, yeah, I better actually let's go ahead. And, yeah, I'll 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 look at it at the end of the episode because I tend to do that if I've got a scene I want to try and grab for a certain part of the video. So yeah, the great old bridge of Stoke. Unfortunately, because it, it takes so long to engineer this kind of thing, it's like um, I'm not going to be ready to. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to manage to get goods into my testing ground at the end of this episode, sadly. So I'm actually going to have to move straight on to uh, the next episode rather than having a break in between, because the goods and gearing up for the next level of production is something that um, has been on the cards for a while. So it is something that needs to be sorted out. So yeah. Just laying the signals in there. But the Great Bridge of Stoke has been completed. And how long have we got? We've got like two and a half minutes left. Oh dear. The problem is, of course, that I don't actually have the... Uh, I don't have a depot in this area. This section is not actually able to produce trains. So that's something that needs to be done like ASAP. Really? Let's see, I need a... I need a bridge, of course. I need a gap of three because that's what it requires for the sloping. Like so, I'm going to make you out of wood because basically I'm, I'm being a, a complete and utter tight wood. Okay, turn you. And then that'll be fine. And this will be where the depot goes for this particular section of track. Oops. No, depot, please. Depot, thank you. So that's the depot. There's no new extensions in the new tech level, sadly. So just slap down the work so we can build the latest and greatest toys. Then this, that bridge is the crossing point. So as you can see, we've been really, really cheapo with this. Okay. And that is the connection point so we can access all the various rails, like so. Then of course we need to bump this up a level. So, I, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get... We're, we're not even going to get the passenger connection sorted, are we? Hmm. I guess I do have a little bit of a project to do between between episodes then. So, there we go. That, that's connected into that. Um, we can just hook that straight into there. And then this will quite happily just hook straight into there. Yeah, do the turn. Thank you. So there we go. We do have access to a depot now, which is good. Now, that slow-ass bridge is going to slow things down, of course, but that can't be helped, really, can it? Uh, just need a signal there. And then this signal is just for tra trains that are coming straight off this area into this particular one. So that's a signal dedicated rail. 
that goes into there. We've got to, we've, since we've messed the environment up, we've got to make it all pretty and nice, so. Save the forest and all that jazz. Yes. There we go. We've got um, a, 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 a simple depot in, at least. So, yeah. We've got that. We've got... Um, we're just passing the half-hour mark now, so it is actually time to stop. Uh, let's just quickly lay in the signals on the bridge, and then before the next episode, I will hook in the actual towns, and then next episode we'll 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 just get the um, we'll get the goods sorted and flowing. So there's not much requirement. It's just like, it's just a half hour restriction, you know. But I've got to try and observe these things because otherwise it's like random content length, and it's like Bleh. also it's more strain on me anyway. So it's like extra effort. No, oh, thank you. Uh, like that, yes. Like that, yes. That's all good. And then, of course, because these bridges are the issue, we need to double all this up. Notice, by the way, that despite all this expensive construction we've been doing, I've actually made enough money just running on standard game speed to. Um... Let's actually put some. Let's put one of these in there, actually. There you go. That'll register and keep things from going too far. So if both of those are occupied, this won't let the train pass it. That seems good. And I'll put one in here too. So yeah, even though I've been running on like minimum gain speed, it's been quite happy about it. But yeah, I'm going to have to call it there, as I said. So this has been Iron Mark 3. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And I think that's my screenshot right there. The Great Bridge of Stoke, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all some other time. Bye-bye now.